Hi guys. I've actually had quite a productive day today. <clears throat> For a change. I actually like days like this. I hate it when I'm just sitting here going, I'm oh, bored. But uh, anyway, I also had a parcel arrive as well. My um, XRAF lamp has arrived. I'll show you that in just a moment. First, I'm just going to scoot back. As you can see, I've got both the power strips on the wall. Both six ways. Um, I'm actually, this is the one I bought from the car boot uh, Sunday. And I'm actually glad I took the plug off to get the cable behind there because uh, the neutral wire wasn't even, well it was in its terminal but the screw wasn't tight at all. Not one bit. <laughs> Which would have been quite dangerous so I'm actually glad I had to do that. I've added the second outlet behind all of these. I want to do them side by side, you know, like these two tubs are there. Wasn't going to work. <laughs> um, so I had to go, I had to stack them and put the new one below the existing one. But it worked. It's all set up. I've got that cable running down there which goes to this extension lead and I then got these shelves in. Um, yes, I've, that gap wasn't intentional, I didn't realise until after I'd stuck the screw in. So, <laughs> but, I just left it as it is. Um, and considering I didn't use a spirit level, look at that. That one, I should say. It's not that far off. Uh, this one is actually even better. Oh, no, it's just the same. Ah, oh, well, if that's the same, then it could be the wool thrown off, then. Keeping in mind, this is a relatively old building. It's from the late 1960s, anyway. Um, I've had that out because I repaired the circuit in it. It's meant to be a flashing lamp, but the original circuit just disintegrated and fell to bits. Uh, along with the original switch that slid back and forth so um, I did my own modification so it just it's a steady burn lamp now rather than a flash there's my uh, Tildorn XRAF uh, what is it an obstruction lamp I charged up my little 6 volt lead acid battery and it works <laughs> I'm actually well pleased with that. That's got to be the uh, weirdest, well maybe not the weirdest, but probably the rarest lamp I've got in my collection. And before I get accused, it's stolen. No, this one isn't. This came from a legitimate seller who also has his own website selling the same stuff. It is actually XRAF surplus items and he's got lots of other various spares and things as well um, and this actually did come in its box original box and it did come with this um, equipment conditioning label serviceable it's got lots of all the you know NATO on there and Okay, aircraft, now it's got the work number. This doesn't have the charge socket, so I'm guessing that's what this sheet was for. It's got a lot of stuff written there, but I can't read it. Can any of you guys? I'm finding it very hard to read that. Uh, I can read the description. Obstruction lamp light. One. Reconditioning NA. No batteries fitted. Something something RAF slash carried out on condition and safety certificate serviceable. Contains glass. No it doesn't. Ah, 
unserviceable. Ah, I suppose it, Ah, if this wasn't usable then, they would have filled in this side, so... Yeah. Cool. It also came with this attached to it as well. The repair number RAF something or other. Modifications. Ah! I'll be why then. That hasn't got... Ah, I see. Yeah. So that's what the modification was. I'm guessing the charger socket broke. And uh, they took it off. Well, it doesn't matter, it doesn't bother me. It's got a nice sort of rubber coating on this metal handle. It works, and it's still a nice piece to have in my collection, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, I just got that out for the sheer hell of it, really. But I did notice earlier today I had a comment left on my um, video I put up a few days ago. Um, when I went through my whole lamp collection this Dorman Smith Traffy lamp um, I couldn't remember which Dietz lamp this is copied from legally copied for, from from, from um, because Dorman Smith bought the license to produce the lamp over here under the Traffy Lamp name. In America, it's the Dietz 650 Visi Flash. And if you Google that, you'll see it looks absolutely identical to this because it is. It's the same lamp, it's just Dorman Smith manufactured it here under the name Traffy Lamp under license from RE Dietz Co. USA, as it says on the little black placard on the front here. On that thing. <laughs> what the, the lens and everything is, it's all the same. I've, I've got bored, so I put a battery in this and uh, a dormant cone bracket as well. So, I sorted out the sockets. I've still got a lot of cable tidying to do. I'm going to clip this cable down and along there out of the way. I was going to clip it down the wall as well, but I don't think I need to, to be honest. These shelves were those sort of tan coloured ones I had leaning up here on the um, big shelf, if you remember. And I said a few, quite a few videos ago now, I think, that I didn't know what to do with them. So, uh, actually, I think I said recently I was going to use my tin of black paint to the brush on paint to paint them. But instead, I used. Um, Black spray paint. I use that stuff up there. That stuff is actually pretty good. It's cheap. It's 99 pence for a can out of QD stores in the UK. But it is pretty multi-purpose. It's covered this... The, 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 bleh. Yeah, it's covered that. I'll try that again. It's covered these wooden shelves really well. And the only reason I sprayed them black is so it matches everything else. <laughs> matches the bench and the computer desk. So I am happy with that. It's not the best thing on the planet. But I'm happy with it. Uh, the next thing I want to get rid of is this cabinet, but I want to get something to replace it first. Um, I've seen those sort of shelf units, you know, with no back on. It's just basically the framework with the shelves on it. I was thinking of getting something like that, because at least that way it's not going to block any light coming in through that window. I don't think it really matters anyway with that window, does it? Because <laughs> um, I'll obviously need somewhere to put all the models that are in there and I thought well if I get one of those little or tall shelf units or something that would solve that problem oh right yeah other than that oh, I've had a slow day I'm hoping you know bloody hell that's one hell of a double chin isn't it look at this look <laughs> anyway <laughs> I'm hoping 
I'll uh, get another parcel tomorrow with all my other lamps, or at least by the end of this week. I think the ETA is Thursday, I think. Right, I have also got chargers to put away in a little while. I've got that lamp's got a battery in it. Both of those have got batteries in it, and that one's got a battery in it as well. I got bored, I had like loads of batteries and whatnot dotted around the flat, so I thought I'd stick them in a few lamps. I'd play around with them. I've got a sore neck at the minute. Um, yeah, I'll sort that out later as well. Right. Uh, I need to get some refuse sacks because I've run out. <laughs> I've just taken the last one out. That's the box it came in. Proper box, properly packed and everything, so... Yeah. Take that lamp, put back in the bedroom. Got a little holder there for me glue gun, I've got my power if I need it. Mainly, I've just left this here mostly, you know, just for the use of my soldering iron and glue gun, pretty much. I don't really think I'm going to be using any other electric tools up here, to be honest. I probably, well, I've got somewhere to charge, um, like my drill batteries, which is another bonus. Did I take my evening pill? Yeah, I did. I've got four left. Placed an order for those. I've got my antidepressants as well. You always get a new prescription slip to fill in when you pick up your medication so I filled that in and put it straight in that box. But as you can see I've only got two days left. <laughs> so I need to get that done. So I took a pen with me so I could do it. Right. Ah, that's, I've got my Dremel tool. That is something I can put over there. probably on this shelf under here. I'm still planning to put my printer on this corner. Uh, reason being, it's the only place I've got. I didn't want to at first because I thought I'm going to need all, you know, as much of that as possible to put all my other boxes of things and whatnot on, but then I thought, well, I could make use of those shelves and put that on there. All my uh, bits and pieces boxes. I'll just show you. In fact, I might as well bring those through. You know, these. I've got a lot of little components and things in here. I've got some empty drawers, actually, I've just realised. Uh, uh, this is what I put these shelves up for. Right, Marity. Right. Okay, it's going to have to go there because it's got... <laughs> Going against that. It's sitting at an angle, but I don't care about that as long as it stays there out of the way. My brother left some ice lollies here, so I've pinched a couple of those. I checked the ingredients, but um, as they're just fruit lollies, there's no lactose in them, so that's safe. I did drink two pints, two points, two pints of milk earlier, <laughs> lacto-free milk. And uh, I know if you actually drink too much milk in one go, it can make you sick. But uh, I was fine. <laughs> Somehow I was fine. I'm just trying to see if there's anything. See, I've got this thing. I won't be able to actually stack this one on top of the other one. Like so, you see. tools and I've got my toolbox in there so I could put my drill bits and screwdriver bits in top of that one or in the bottom section actually it doesn't matter and I'll get them off of here pardon me because I think they're going to be a 
bit too heavy for that shelf. I don't want to put too much weight on it. How heavy is that? Ooh. Why has this got so much weight in it? That one really has got a lot of weight in it. You know, I kept all these nut things and I don't really know what I want to do with them. I don't know what I am going to do with them though. Chuck them in there. <laughs> this has got, what's this got in it? Oh, that's why it's heavy. It's got motors, connector blocks, some battery packs. Okay. Oh, that's actually made that a darn sight lighter empty in that. Right, then what I'll do, hopefully. Oh, look at that. That can go there. There we go. It's coming together, this little area. It's not going to be used for professional repairs, it is just hobby repairs and I'm going to take, I've also got the floor for some storage as well. I think if I cut these um, flaps off I can sit that on the floor. Get rid of this four-way extension socket now, I'm not going to need that. I don't use the light in that cupboard anyway. Is there anything else in here I can use? Um, not use, but, oh yeah. My third hand. Helping hand is the other name for it. That can come through here. Uh, that can go in the bedroom. Oh. Mum said she was going to phone tonight, but whether she does or not is something else entirely. No telling with her. Right. Bunch of cows. Oh, I was looking for that. That's got dried out, has it? No, that's all right there. As long as they haven't dried out, you should be able to breathe some life back into them. In theory. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that printer. That's the one my stepdad gave me. Um, I don't want to take it to a car boot because I don't bloody sell. <laughs> I've tried them before and I got so pissed off with it the last one ended up going down the dump so but the one I want to use is actually over there it's that little one the top one out of the two which if I actually clear some room I can actually uh, get that stood over here that one can go back in the bedroom out of the way. My doorman. I love these old lamps. I've actually got three of them now. Another two up there. I really don't know what it is about these lamps. I've just always had an interest in them. <sighs> oh well. Yeah, I know, Nemo, you're going to get fed up with me, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I'm going to stand you on here, actually, on my computer. So you don't get dizzy with me walking back and forth, back and forth. Right, that screwdriver is going Come here, bastard. Keeping certain tools in here. Sticky tape goes under there, that's my bottle of coat. 12 volt car back, motorbike battery rather. No idea why I call that car battery, it's nothing like the car. Right. Yeah. When right, I next get paid, I must grab a pack of um, 50 sticky back cable clips. I'm so getting a USB headset. I could use this, this works fine, but it's got the 3.5mm plugs on and that means pulling out the computer to plug the damn thing in. I really cannot be asked with doing things like that. 
Actually, this is going to give me a good excuse to clean this crap up here. So much stuff that doesn't belong on here. That desk tidy. I've got this feeling some of this could end up on top of the printer. meant to give your pets chicken bones. Oh, something stuck to my... Yeah. Chuck some stuff out. Ah. Right. Using a carrier bag for rubbish in case you're wondering. A little bit of extra light on the subject, shall we? That's better. One, two, three, four, or oh, five days. I did order these, but I've got five days left. They might not let me have them. If you order too early, they can get a bit picky and not let you have them. And you end up having to order them again. Which is a total pain in the fucking ass. What can you do? Five pets. A little odds and sods tub there. These bits of rubbish. Nail clippers. Some headphones and things there. I've got saw. It's all rubbish. If I remember, I'll get some refuse sacks tomorrow. It's a little bit of blue tack. It's more rubbish. One pot wrapper, that's rubbish. Pencil sharpener, that's stationary. That is literally a laser pen, look. Cost me 99p from the market. Put that screwdriver in that one here from that. And actually, no. They can lay on here. Could do with a desk tidy like this one. To put some of my little screwdrivers in for when I'm playing around on here. That would actually be pretty good. And a great hat. Right, I've got Paint Celestia. She can go there. How many boxy lighters? Oh yeah, I found that lighter outside the other day, down by my shed. Someone had dropped it. No idea who had dropped it, but someone had. Right, here's Lego. That's Celestia's other wing. More Lego, more Lego. Find glass. That needs to stay around here somewhere. Lego. Lego. Ah, the stickers for Celestia. There we go. I'm looking for those. Lego. 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 Figured while I was at it, I might as well clear this bench. Right. Lego's got to be sorted, so I'll toss that up there. That's my back scratcher. Scissors or die cast cars, they're not supposed to be in here either. Dicky toys I got from the car boot. <coughs> Pay the pound for it, I could probably at least double that if I stick it on eBay. Believe it or not. <laughs> got some screws there. Keep that screw as well, I don't think I want any others. It's rubbish then. It's Lego. Lots of screw to keep. More fucking Lego. 
Oh, oh Lego. <laughs> you more bloody Lego? Shit. I'm gonna so have to run around with the vacuum cleaner again. be a tub of all sorts of shit. That's what that could be. The all sorts of shit tub. What's that? Oh, that's all got to stay up here. That's more. Obviously, there you go. Got your screws to be kept. We're getting somewhere, guys. We're getting somewhere. Do with that bag for a while. over here, isn't it? I'm not wiring up the printer tonight, I'm just going to stand over here. Once I've got, you know, most of this cleared somewhere. Somewhere I had a. Oh, never mind. Found Sweepy brush. Not those screws though. I want those. Right. Also go through the bedroom. worried about things going down the back onto the floor because I've got a hoover down there anyway. So, you know, might as well just do that. just misses that bracket for the headphones. I think I can actually move that bracket. I really want it here. And I'll just leave it as it is. If the headphones get in the way, I'll just uh, take them off. That's a figure eight cable I need for this, isn't it? Power cable. Yeah. I might have to move a couple of plugs under there to accommodate that, but I do like that. This stays up. I think that'll do till tomorrow. Right. It can go 
off. Park me button down here, I think. I don't think there's anything else uh, I want to bring through for the minute. I'll move my glass. Yeah, I'm certain I've got a USB cable as well. I might pop another hole in this desk to pop a few cables through. just to help tidy them because I've got so many laying on top of this desk behind here it's just annoying as hell <laughs> it really is but I don't really want to lay another like USB cable down there so I was thinking of going in the back of this then down the back and up through a hole by that computer or behind the computer I only want a small one I'll think of something. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you liked the video and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.